This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Wayne had a problem. He was flunking biology, and he really needed this credit to graduate. It was frog dissection day. The one science thing that he was good at. Everything was going real good until near the end of class when Wayne took the frog that he was dissecting and stuck it on his thumb like a puppet. Then he turned to Henrietta, the girl at the next lab station. He didn't really like her, but he was crazy about Marianne, her lab partner. Marianne was on the swim team, and she was very pretty. He tapped Henrietta's shoulder. When she turned around, he stuck his frog thumb puppet right into her face. She screamed so loud that a retainer flew out of her mouth and right into the hole in the frog that she and Marianne were dissecting. Henrietta kept screaming. Everyone was looking at them. This wasn't working out so well. The teacher made him stay after class and clean up. He had to scrape each of the carved up frogs out of the dissecting trays and into a rusty old bucket. Guts and all. Then he had to take the bucket to the custodian's office and dump it into a big bin. So he was in the hall near the custodian's office when he saw this big metal bin sitting on a trolley cart in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Wayne figured that this must be the place where he was supposed to dump the frog guts. He lifted the lid and poured the stuff into the bin. Then he went to his next class. A couple of hours later, the bell rang. It was lunchtime, which was a good thing because Wayne was hungry. He went to the cafeteria wondering what the special of the day would be. It was a choice between the french fries with gravy and the meatloaf and mashed potatoes with gravy. Mm. Very popular item, gravy. So when he got to the calf, something was going on. The swim team was having a fundraiser to raise money so they could go to the regional finals. A chili sale. Cool. Wayne liked chili. It came with nachos. Mary Ann from Wayne's biology class was scooping the chili into bowls and handing it out to people. She waved him up to the front of the line. Hi, said Mary Ann. Wayne said hi back. She asked him if he wanted some chili. He said, sure. She scooped an extra big gob of chili into his bowl and handed it to him. That was really funny what you did in class today, said Marianne. She gave him some nachos too. Yeah, said Wayne. He was getting the feeling that maybe she kind of liked him. She asked if she could eat with him and he said, sure. That's when Wayne realized that something was kind of familiar. He said, I I'll be right back. He ran to the custodian's office as fast as he could, but the big metal bin and trolley were gone. He went back to the cafeteria where Marianne was waiting, but she hadn't waited for him. She was just about finished eating her bowl of chili. Wayne sat down and he made his most serious face. Marianne was smiling at him. Wayne had a problem. He could fess up and admit that he'd dumped a big rusty bucket full of frog guts into the swim team's fundraising chili and Marianne would hate him forever. And he'd get kicked out of school and not graduate. And the swim team would pound the living snot out of him. Or he could keep his mouth shut. No one would know the difference and everything would be fine. So Marianne said, try the chili. It's really good. And she smiled at him. Hey. It's a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. And Wayne? He's no fool. He ate the chili. And you know what? It wasn't bad. Kinda tasted like chicken. <laughs>